Today we are playing Pekka in Space, Tumbleweed, Berry Explosions, Starbase Assault, Wave Rider, Cherry Bomb V2, Heart of Gold, A Remarkable Space Confrontation, Schmape, Star Trek Collective Mischief, Full Mozago, and Lena, Witches of the Moon. Mm, hi everybody, hi everybody, I'm Christian, welcome to Leaf This Academy, welcome to the fourth and final episode where I will play through all of the games from the basic shmup showcase. Mm, 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 mm. I have to apologize, this video comes out a little bit later, but I'm moving into a new flat right now, beautiful artwork by my daughter, right now in the kitchen, I'm recording this in my kitchen because the other rooms are not finished, we've got some new furniture, I had to set them up, uh, could not record more stuff, now I'm back recording stuff. But I'm still in the kitchen, gonna move on to the other room, it's gonna be fine. Now I also have to say, the first two games in this video are games that I already played, because this is actually the second time I'm recording this video. Somehow the recording on the first video got lost, and we're doing it the second time. So without any further ado, this first game is Pekka in Space. And yeah, I already played it a little bit. I know what it's all about. I have to say, I do appreciate the website. It's very, very simple, but, but effective website does what the website has to do. Has beautiful animated GIFs, has some text. The text could be, the captions could be a bit bigger and also capitalized, but okay. Um, something I noticed with a lot of people when they make the website on itch, they do not put a banner on top that shows you the name of the game. You should put the name of the game on the website so you can read it. I mean, I can read it here as well in a, in a tab description, but why not put it on, on a banner on top? Why not? Uh, okay, let's get going. Uh, right, so we hear that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sound from, um, from the tutorial, uh, but this has been beefed up substantially. We have beautiful logo happening. The P suggests that this is some, maybe some kind of cat related pick up, maybe a cat. I read in the description, this was a cat that developer Wotessi uh, had and the cat sadly passed away and this is kind of like a tribute to the cat, a little shmup that is named after the cat. She's joining us in spirit from uh, Cat Heaven Above. Or he, I'm not sure, sure. Pekka does sound female, but you know, I never know. Um, a beautiful, beautiful high score and best score uh, thing. You can see my previous attempt, I went to wave number 25 and then something happened when well, we're gonna see it again. Um, there is, um, you can press two buttons to start and press for achievements. I, uh, it's again, it's mapped to buttons. The buttons are, buttons are not, I use a controller, so it doesn't really tell me what X and circle is. And I have to kind of guess, and I, that's not always ideal. You probably want to always have like a menu here. That's a bit more difficult to um, program, but it, I think it pays off for those people who use um, controllers. Um, yeah, this has a lot of achievements. I, um, probably, I'm not sure if I can get those achievements because I can see those achievements start at wave 35. That's when we start getting achievements. Okay, so my goal here for this playthrough is get to, level, to wave 35 and then maybe not shoot anybody. That's that's could be it. Could be approval. Uh, see, and here is like a the clearing of achievements mapped to a button. That's you should never map that on a single button. At least there is a question here, but um, there is like you can put things into the this menu, the enter menu. It's a way better place for this. Uh, so now, okay, that's good. That doesn't matter. Let's start. I'm, I'm complaining, but yeah, this is this is a uh, this is. Have you seen this game? Have you seen? It looks totally like this kind of tutorial I've seen on, on YouTube. Very similar. Uh, something that I... It's weird that you, you cannot shoot between the waves. There's just like shooting is turned off. And I... I want to shoot between the waves, man. I want to shoot between the waves. Because I want to I wanna like... That's a good place to for people to try out the buttons and see what they do. And if you push a button and nothing happens, you think that maybe you pressed the wrong button. You wanna, you wanna give players the ability to shoot between the waves, uh, to do things at, uh, at moments where it's not necessary to do those things. Uh, you want to give players the ability to jump, even if there's nothing to jump on. 
And even if that's silly that your character just like jumps in place, that's fine. Because then, uh, you, did, you know, the player knows that pressing this button will jump. And look at this amazing sprite! Look at this sprite! That was like a, this kind of starfire kind of jet. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Look at this. This is this is so kind of like diamond ships. They remind me a little bit of Star Control. There was like a, like a diamond kind of like, not diamond, but there was like an alien race that was using these weird, weird ships. And I also have to say like the, whenever there's pickups, pay attention, whenever there's pickup, there's always like they're nicely animated. This diamond is named, this heart has like the specular highlight going across it. That looks so nice. So, so nice. Now the enemies so far are nothing to write home about. I mean, they're nice and varied and everything. They're definitely um, very, very much inspired by the tutorial. Um, the individual waves don't feel different. Like they visually may be a bit different, but I, I, it's always the same thing. Uh, in terms of what the strategy is. Sometimes you have to avoid an enemy coming from this side. Sometimes there's a bigger enemy that you have to shoot more at. But, um, yeah. Okay, we are at the boss now. Very nice new music, I love it. Uh, we have a boss health underneath here. It's good. It's very nice. Some really nice additional details. And is there even like a red muzzle flash? Is that just like... Is it just me or is it like a red muzzle flash down there? That's Oops! Ah oh, no, I lost my weapon! Ah, every time you hit, you get hit, You, I think you, you lose your weapon. Your weapon gets downgraded to the previous weapon. And well, that's that's what happened here. So now I'm, I'm shooting fences. Oh, now I'm shooting waves. Get, let's get that shield going. A weapon. I want to shoot the fences again. Ah, wave 11. 35 is our goal and we are at, uh, down to just two hearts. That's, that's not good. That's not how you get through, the, through those games. Wave 12. Oh, what the heck? Oh, by the way, when you get hit, there's a... Um, there's a, an invincible progress bar, which is cool to see, like, like a very specific indicator, but generally I would prefer if the ship was just blinking. I think that's... Um, there's just like so many games are doing this. It's a, such a part of the video game vocabulary, so why not just tap into it? Why reinvent the wheel like that, right? Okay. Got a new weapon. Right, so now I'm uh, shooting yellow fences. Oh, da -da. Great power response. Oh. Yeah, that happened last time around as well. There seems to be some kind of bug. Um, yeah, there's like an error here happening. It, apparently, my SPR doesn't have any set. There is no any for my SPR. Yeah, so I would like to submit a bug report right here. Right, so what did we think? Um, I, I like it. It's a really, really nice um, continuation, polishing of the tutorial shmup. I like it. Um, there is a lot of really nice flourishes, a lot of creativity with the weapons that I really appreciate. Um, we haven't even paid attention to, but you can actually see on the, on the screenshot at the end there, um, when you're at your last heart, for example, there's like smoke coming out of your ship and the um, the power-ups have really, really cool animation happening. It's just like, and of course you get like the the whole thing around it where you get like the achievements and everything. That's really, really cool. I love it. Now this game is actually a cool place to start talking about game length, which is something that is uh, something I've struggled with myself with Pico 8. Pico 8 ob obviously is an engine that is not really good at creating lots of content. That's not something that Pico 8 excels at, right? And so games in Pico 8 usually um, turn out to be shorter. Of course, there's some kind of like in this this drive to make meatier games. Like we as developers, we want to have something that that really takes up space in the player's mind and life. 
And I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good thing to strive towards. I'm kind of like something that's something I'm struggling with. Um, is, it, is it maybe better to create something small and, and round it and that, that people can leave behind and say like, I did this for this evening, right? With Pico 8 especially, and uh, there's this problem, and I have that problem too, like my shmup that I made, the um, Cherry Bomb shmup, also has the same problem. The gameplay is so simple, and there, there's not so much variety of different enemies that create like different attack patterns. There's just like really some very similar enemies. There's maybe some differences up here and now and there, but not that many differences that would sustain uh, you know, a longer play session. At some point, you've seen all the game has to offer. And at this point, you kind of want the game to come to a close, which is why I kind of like felt nine waves, felt kind of good, felt like at this, at this point, the gameplay was kind of getting stale and I want to give like a nice ending with a boss fight and that's it. I'm not sure if going for such a long game is, is, is a good idea. You guys let me know. I'm not sure if there is enough content in this game to sustain, you know, hundreds of waves because that's the, the final achievement to get through hundreds of waves. And the funny thing is like the first achievement is wave 35. Wave 35, I never reached wave 35. That seems like such a time commitment that you require from, from the players. I feel that's kind of like a little bit out of balance. So that's something I would, I would suggest thinking about. What is the general experience? What is the time requirement that you expect from players? And does your gameplay in your game actually support the amount of time that we're thinking about that people will invest in? And it seems to me really odd that, you know, I got this bug here and I got it twice in a row now. And it's got, I got it before I even reached the first achievement. So how, like, is that something... That, the bug that was introduced later, or is was there just like I wonder if the dev actually re, uh, you know achieved all of those achievements without cheats? Maybe a good test for your game should be to play it yourself and make sure that you can actually get through those things. I know this takes time, but if you don't want to do it, then maybe other people will also struggle. <laughs> and the thing is, I do appreciate the game. I do like the little flourishes and details that are added. This seems like a more rounded experience, so I would gladly return to this once maybe those bugs are kind of taken care of. Next up, we have uh, Tumbleweed by Turtle Stack. And oh my gosh, I saw this game before already in Animated GIFs. I'm very excited to play it. I was very excited to play it. I played it again now. I don't mind it too much. So um, the really nice website, some really nice old timey fonts. That's really cool. Some Animated GIFs. Mwah! and some story and rules and so forth. The very, very clear, very nice and cool setting. Nice background on the Pico 8 card. Cool photo that they got in there. Again, I'm missing, I am missing uh, uh, na the name of the game on top. I think you should always put the name of the game on top. It's just me though, in my opinion. I can already tell, spoiler, this is a good one. Ah, the bullets, the bullets in the start screen. How cool is that? Again, uh, choices are met to, uh, to uh, controller buttons and I don't know which button does what so I might start the game accidentally while I wanted to read Wikipedia. Tumbleweed. The United States Department of Agriculture classifies the tumbleweed as a non-native and extremely invasive plant. They are considered noxious in nature and detrimental in many ways. Tumbleweeds are a major contributor to native plant extinctions and wildfires. Large tumbleweeds can form <laughs> aggregations that are physically hazardous and can block roads and our buildings. So this is basically a game for change, right? <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, or, or maybe like educational game. So you can play, and when you play, you can select from different characters. And that's so nice. It's Blondie, Jesse, Fur Trapper, Major, Barrel Man, Lil Nas X, Django from Django Unchained, Mr. White from Breaking Bad, Dolly Parton, Han from Star Wars, Padme with a midriff. <laughs> So good! <laughs> Prospector, Bandito, Chieftain, Faye Valentine from Cowboy Bebop, no copyright intended, <laughs> Spike Spiegel, uh, Jules from Pulp Fiction, and Vincent Vega from Pulp Fiction. The hair is so good. Oh, mm. uh, the Bride from Kill Bill, a Naked Cowboy, Nacho Libre, Mr. Lincoln, Farrell Williams, and Vash the Stampede from Dragon. A wild assortment of um, characters from 
Star Wars anime and um, uh, uh, pop music and Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna have to pick one. I'm gonna pick Dolly Parton. Why? Uh, Parton? Parton? Uh, Dolly. Whatever. So, okay, so I'm gonna explain to you how this. Oh, interesting. There's a skull, and that skull's in different place when it was when I played it the first time. That's interesting. Procedural generated content. Okay, so here's how it works. It took me a while to understand it, but it's actually really cool. So, you have a gun, and you shoot at things. By the way, shooting at the tumbleweed, what an American way of solving things, isn't it? With essential American way of solving problems, just shoot at it. Um, so uh, my character is, sh is shooting at things, and you can see that there's first of all there's some recoil. So if I shoot a lot, you see my shots are going all over the place. So I have to like pace myself, which could be considered kind of like an overheat mechanic, which I was critical of before. I don't mind it here too much. It is kind of like a very particular shmup, I have to say. So as you can see, the tumbleweeds are uh, collecting at the left edge of the screen, and when they do, they block your way. So it's kind of like Tetris to some extent. And then there is another uh, ability here that I also love, or another game mechanic, which is you see the barrel of the pistol, the, of the revolver, right? So uh, when I shoot a tumbleweed, I get a bullet in that, in that, in that barrel. And uh, once I, the barrel is full with bullets, uh, um, the multiplier goes up. But if I miss a tumbleweed, if I shoot past a tumbleweed, I will lose the multiplier and all the barrels in the, uh, all, the all the bullets in the barrel. So kind of like the multiplier is, uh, is very skill based. You have to shoot. You, you have to be very accurate to get the multiplier up. Which I again I appreciate. It adds a lot of um, complexity to this rather simple game. Um, it because you know there's tumbleweed. The tumbleweed doesn't hurt you, right? You can just touch tumbleweed. It's fine. It's just tumbleweed. Um, <laughs> so there's less things for you to do other than just like shooting at things. Um, but in this case, the this. Multiplier thing, the, the revolver thing, and the, the accuracy and so forth, that can that gives just the right amount of, um, of um, things to think about, consider, um, while you're shooting at the stumbleweed. <laughs> oh man, now I don't know what to do anymore, because see, you have like this huge protrusions uh, on the top and bottom. And you don't want uh, the tumbleweed to accumulate there. Oh man, I lost my multiplayer. So maybe uh, you want to fill up the center a little bit. But then, uh, yeah, crossing the screen to the other side is <laughs> takes so much time. That I, I, it's kind of like the tumbleweed uh, tumor is growing at the bottom and at the top. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh gosh! Oh no! I see the end coming! There's just not much I can do! <laughs> no! No, there's a tumor inside! Well, partner, it looks like you gave it your all, but those darn things just keep on rolling. Oh man, what a game, what a game, right? Oh, do you get a nice score? You can see I, I, uh, the first time I played it, I got 4,000, I have 6,000. I'm getting better at this game, but 10,000 is the score to beat at the death. That's amazing. Yeah, so what do we think about this game? I think this is amazing. This blew me away. Uh, again, I saw the screenshots or before and I was like, oh, okay, the, the different setting than, than space, I appreciate that. But man, that's a, not just a different setting, that's a very different game and that's, um, it's so, it's so delicious. I really love it when, um, especially in Pico 8, I think it's really great when you can come up with some kind of game idea that's kind of like self-contained. You don't have to add more content to it. It's already kind of like, it's all working, you just have to repeat it until uh, until it runs out. Something like Tetris, right? 
There's pieces falling down, the random generated. You don't need more pieces. It's not like you at some point a boss piece comes down or something. Like it's just like the, the you have a sort of pieces and they generate the gameplay. And you have the same thing here where the tumbleweed accumulates and that creates like this bundles of of um, of tumbleweed and they uh, prevent you from uh, crossing the stage, which then causes those those bundles to accumulate even more. That's so nice. That's such a good idea. And the recoil and the, the revolver barrel adds just just enough spice, just enough interest to kind of like keep you occupied as you progress from to the inevitable end of the level. The setting is cool. The idea is cool. This is a fantastic entry. I love it. All right, so we're moving on to Berry. Berry Explosions. Not sure what the name is because it says Berry Explosions in the caption. But it only says Barry here in the, in the banner. I'm happy there is a banner this time around, so that's good. Lemtopia, we already had Lemtopia. The previous game written by Lemtopia was the one with a sweet and sour kind of thing. It was a very, very basic shmup. Uh, and then Lemtopia May went on and created this. which is a different game. Let's see. Uh, the website was basic, but it does the job. Um, so yeah, Barry Explosions here. Another short wave shmup. So again, made, made two by Lemtopia and Kalidev. Ooh, very different from Lentopia's first game. Oh, five weights only. It's still very short. Extremely short. Three or five. Oh my gosh. So we have uh, those organically. Oh, what? As for some reason, I've, I've leveled up now. Um, so we have um, these dynamic spawning enemies. That's nice. I love the different colors in the background for the stars. Very fast scrolling. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. You have one. And that's it. That was so short. Let's try it again. I want to pay attention because there's some really nice things happening. Like I like the laser here. Um, the effect of hitting the enemies is also nice. The enemies don't change anything the sprites doesn't change but they stop and shake and the sound makes like the impact uh, effect is really cool and, and also like how the yeah i like the upgrade here as well that you shooting so many lasers that also feels a lot more powerful that feels like yeah now we're getting somewhere uh because they're really cleaning up the enemies here and then you have, have like huge spawn that's so nice just two enemy types and that's it this is a nice basic map. I like this. There's uh, lots of little tiny little details that I enjoy. Um, I just wish this had more like 10 levels or something. It feels like five levels are a bit, it leaves me so hungry, so hungry for more. I just got started. I just got an upgrade a level ago and I was only able to use it for like two waves. That's, mm, I, I like the organic fly-ins and so forth. I know it's difficult to make them work for longer levels because you have to hand code everything. I would just love for this to go for longer. More waves, more enemies, maybe a boss fight at the end. That would be fantastic. But the basics are there. They work very well. I like this more than Lentopia's first game. I would love to see more from Lentopia in the future. All right, moving on. So this is from D. Morris. It's called Star Base Assault. And it's a map for sure. The, my, my arch enemy, the pixel font from Itch is back. <laughs> but I appreciate the animated gifts. That's really cool. Um, and there's even a, the logo of the game, the banner on top. How cool is that? Somebody, somebody is, is knocking it out of the park already. Let's try it. Oh yeah, it's time of oppression. The galactic tyrant rules with an iron fist. The last hope of the resistance is a lone experimental fighter which must defeat the tyrant's fleet, fortified star bases and personal right now. Ooh, Ace Elite. So, wait, Ace is better than Elite? Oh, I appreciate just spelling out what the differences in the different difficulty modes is. Ah! Oh. Oh. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's such a nice music, too. Oh, nice! Base progression. Oh yeah! 
Oh, the red shockwaves. I love it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was stage one. Okay, this is stage two. I got upgrades. Now bigger enemies are spawning. Yes. Get wrecked. What is the bar on the right? Some kind of uh, percentage bar. That's not how far I progress. Maybe that's how much my char char shot is charged. That's how it works. Not my health, right? It's on the left. Yeah, that's good, that's good. These were some cool challenges. Spaw spawning lots of bullets. I wouldn't call it bullet hell, but definitely not easy. Ooh, so I got some. Ooh, and not, now I'm shooting in the back as well. Cruiser score. So the different levels even have names. Okay, three from eight. Destroyer pod. What? Shooting rockets? Holy crap, every level has something new. That's so nice. That's so good. Uh, I have to say, shooting backwards doesn't make me as happy because there's no enemies coming from the back. <laughs> like, uh, okay, I shoot backwards now. Great. <laughs> I'd rather shoot more forwards. Oh, halfway there. We're living on a prayer. The music is really good. That adds so much. To a game that is already pretty good. Oh no, spongy enemies. The bane of my existence. Oh, what the? The rockets got me. Okay. Oh. Oh, it is my health. Oh, so you have health and you have lives. Oh, but now I lost my my upgrades, my 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 beautiful upgrades. I, I I've lost them. Hopefully, hopefully my my pea shooter uh, is. Uh, and hopefully, I'm not I'm not gonna get radius affected. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, this is this is serious. This is a serious game. So interesting. So if you lose a life, you get reset at the begin to the beginning of the wave, but you also have health, uh, and so you're getting sh hit once. Ah, what? The this means that you lose some health, but um, doesn't mean that you get reset. I like how the spreadsheet is like just halfway. <laughs> Battleship group. What? It's the battleship group. What up? Yeah, getting the spread shots. Oh man. Yeah, those those aren't so hard. <laughs> Famous last words, right? <laughs> uh oh. Take it all back, they're actually super hard. Uh, okay, okay, let's get in front. Let's get it all sorted out, get this battleship away from our faces. Beautiful faces. Ah, uh, come on, battleship, why don't you just die? Okay, thanks, thanks, thanks. I appreciate going away and dying. Yeah.
Starbase Alpha. What? What? No way! No way! A real scrolling background! No way! That's so cool! Oh man! I got I got rang I got mangled, wrangled. That wasn't good. Oh, that's so nice. Not easy to pull off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, needed that, needed that, thanks. Oh man, this is now really, oh, I'm a, I'm a pickle. Okay, I'm just gonna do some circles. See, now shooting backwards pays off. I've been bad-mouthing the shooting backwards, but actually it was pretty good. I wish maybe uh, that kind of situation where I can shoot backwards we can benefit from that. Uh, that uh, if that came earlier, I think I would have been better. But no, otherwise it's, it's good, it's good. Another spell base. All right. Those spongy enemies are pretty spongy. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, let's get let's get all of the health back. Is it is it better if I go closer to the to the, to the I think it seems like it's doing better, more damage. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Yeah, I have, to, I have to switch. Yeah, spon spongy enemies. I don't. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so fond of spongy enemies, especially if they're like scrolling past. Like having a spongy enemy on top, like there were the spaceships. That was fine. Like the um, battle cruisers, because you have like if you don't shoot them down immediately, then you just shoot them down later. But if there's an enemy on the ground that you scroll past and it's spongy. It's just at some point you just have to give up shooting at them and then you have to keep them around if, uh, it's just like Ooh. but i mean uh, i guess that's the, that's the idea here right oh look at this is that the final boss holy crap oh look at this he has like you have to shoot down his his there's like bullets um i mean turrets attached to him i lost my ability to speak oh i love it i love it when you destroy parts of the end of the boss look at me just on my last health. Parents threaten. Ah, victory! The right to run the Thanks you for the heroic. We put everything in line and preserve the face of our. Do we have some credits? Is that is that it? Is that <laughs> is that very classic? Just leaving the game in a state where you just have to put the reset button, like in Super Mario World. It just like. Freezes on a on an end screen. It's like, all right, you do you, <laughs> do your worst. Yeah. So what did you think? I loved it. This is, was great. This is so holy crap. This was so good. Um, it was just right length. The different waves felt very very different. The Alpha space station at the end that was just such a change of pace that just completely blew me away. The final boss fight was good. Um, individual pieces that you can break off and everything. That's nice. Oh man, there's just like upgrading your weapon was fine. Shooting backwards made sense in the end. I have to say, like visually and all of, like sonically, that f was such a complete experience. The music was great. I also liked that the enemies had like very consistent visual style. It all felt like they were part of the same army. That's just so nice. Excellent job, D. Morris. That was amazing. Moving on now, I changed a little bit the background here. I'm in a different room now. We're gonna see how the acoustics of this room work. But now I'm gonna check out this next game. This is called Wave Rider, and it is by Bellorek, which is one of my uh, one of my supporters. And this looks so. This is definitely ooh nice, 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 nice. There's some uh, some manual and everything. That's good. There's a logo on, on top. I'm glad about that. Some really nice pixel art. The colors are very bold, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. That's actually okay. Uh, the pixel font is, again, it's a bane of my existence. Everybody likes to use this pixel font. No, don't do it. Respect yourself. Ooh. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. And again, uh, choices are mapped to the buttons. I talked about it again. I don't have. <laughs> I don't know which button does is which one. Uh, I you. The problem is that if you don't know it, then you just have to press randomly. And if there's an important choice associated with with the random button presses, it's kind of difficult. So just that's why these buttons are like very clear what you're what you're pushing, right? So that's why a menu is better because then you at least you know which option the cursor is on, and then you just mash any button to confirm, right? And if it's cancel. That's not so bad as pick something that you don't want to pick. Um, right, we have press X to start and press circle to playtest. I'm not sure what playtest is. Why playtest? I pressed something. Wait, wow. Did you see that? Oh. 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 Yeah, okay, yeah. Wow, wow, this feels nice and juicy. Ah, oh, twin shot. Oh, look at those juicy explosions. Oh my gosh, look at that upgrade scrolling. No way, Belorek, no way. This feels so nice. Oh, there's an option. Oh, <laughs> there's an option. Oh, wow, the speed of the ship is crazy fast. I don't know if I picked up some upgrade to increase the speed, but <laughs> this is very difficult to avoid anything. But oh man, look at my options. Oh, it's just so nice. This is just so nice. Okay, I'm not sh quite sure how, what the upgrades, like what the upgrade system, how that works. Also, I've been hit many times. I think I have three lives left. Oh, yes, it has the... It has the patented um, bomb from Cherry Bomb. Oh yeah, <laughs> and of course my enemies that come from the sides. I hate them, I love them. Oh look, there's a big bad, bad guy. I love it. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, so nice, so nice. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if I pick up another of the blue dots, if that will grant me but it's sometimes difficult to just like see what is but uh, it seems like I've gotten a, a life from that but it's, it's um, I have already lost another life so <laughs> it just prolonged my su my suffering or my pleasure I don't know um, new high score is a bit offset I see that's kind of, kind of not, not ideal uh, but yeah, oh, I love the glitch effect happening here. That's so nice. Yeah, we're gonna go back in again, right? All right, back into in this level here. I have to say uh, the speed at which my ship is moving is kind of intimidating. Whenever there's like a huge amount of bullets coming in, you just don't want to press any button almost because you just like like pr tapping the button lightly will result in your ship zooming across the stream. The screen and and possibly just driving into the bullets rather than um, rather than uh, avoiding them. So um, that's a bit of a challenge. Oh, see, see, that kind of avoiding would be so much easier if I was a bit slower. But um, yeah, wow, it's the final boss. <laughs> oh, what? 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 How do you avoid the lightning? How do you even? Oh, does was it? Oh, cheap! Oh, you're not you're not supposed to be in front of it. Okay, got it. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna go for it again. All right, going for the for the final boss again. This time I have a lot of resources, but oh man, look at those lightning effects. Oh man, I'm gonna do the octane strategy. Ah, oh, jeepers! What? Oh yeah, he's here. Is that's okay? That's okay. That's 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 a fine, fine attack pattern. Okay, I, I'm kind of worried about the. Oh jeez, what? How do you? How? Why? Oh man. Okay, let's try again. I just lost three lives in the last <laughs> in the last wave alone. I think that there's no like a period of being immune is very short in this game. Very short. Extremely short. Okay, and then going again. I think now he's in the in the I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you mode. 
So how do I, do I have to go around it? But I can't, Bellorek, what the heck? This is, this is not how it's supposed to, mm -hmm. All right, all right, let's do this, let's do this. Oh man, look at this lightning attack. What a jerk attack that is. This is a jerk kind of boss. This is like the boss that goes like, ah, I'm gonna kill you right now. He's definitely gonna kill me right now. He, he will he will try. But not if I can help it. Okay, so here's my strat. Here's my strat. What I wanna be doing is I wanna be on this side as much as possible. So when I have to go around him, I can actually be uh, way away from him. Ah! Oh! You see, like this kind of dodge is really hard. Ah! Oh! Again with the lightnings! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <Ew. laughs> I dab too hard. I dab too hard. <laughs> oh man, that was a tough game. That was a tough, tough game. So what does the playtest think? Oh, just playtest? Oh, oh, oh. I don't... Playtest mode. Okay, so... What is... Huh? Oh, you have just infinite lives. Interesting. All right, so what did we think about this? Oh man, this is this is an amazing game. There's just so much, oh, this, oh okay. Mm, I don't even know where to start. So for the explosions, they are amazing. They are really amazing explosions, like really nice and unique look to them, like the, with these balls, the spherical explosions with the shading happening and everything. The colors are amazing. Uh, it feels so juicy. It feels so nice to shoot at things. Uh, the pixel art is amazing. The monsters look like all look like as they're made from the same. They're part of the same fleet. Your ship looks distinct and is very colorful. There's this the the options that fly around your ship that make you know the shooting feel amazing and cool. And when you pick up another part and you shoot more, that feels really good. You don't lose them when you get hit, which is good. Ah, oh, the final boss has so many tweaks to the formula. We have that formula in a, in a shmup. It feels completely different with the light things. It's, it is a jerk of a boss. I would say the part where it spirals out, that's a bit of a jerk move kind of thing. So I'm not sure about that. It would be nice if you could at least go, like if, would, if because you move sideways, it would be nice if um, you wouldn't go uh, completely to the edge of the screen. So you could go around the boss. Um, because otherwise it's like, if you're in a certain part of the screen, you're basically screwed. You're going to get hit. Um, no, this is, this is an incredible, the music is great too. It feels like, you know, like some kind of dirty bass butt line kind of thing, like an electrical thing. Ah, uh, oh, it's, it's so good. I'm so hyped about this game. Uh, there's, there's two things. There's two little gameplay tweaks, which I think were a bit... Um, made it more frustrating than it than it sh had to be, uh, aside from the boss. Um, one is that the ship was moving a little bit too fast for my taste. It's maybe just me. Um, maybe it would have been nicer to just like maybe leave it to like uh, leave it up to the player. So I could have have it like maybe multiple ships, with different speed settings or something. Um, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it just felt a bit too fast for what the game is trying to do. Um, and another thing is I feel the invulnerability after you get hit is very, very short. Um, because as I had like this moment where I made it all the way to, to the uh, second to the second to last wave, like the wave before the boss, and I had four lives. And then I made a small mistake and it got th hit three times in a row, like in this quick succession. Because like the invulnerability is like less than a second. So I would extend the invulnerability a little bit so to give people a bit more breathing space but otherwise oh man like the different attacks are so amazing like i was literally looking for certain types of enemy that was causing troubles to me uh this is such an amazing game bellorek bellorek this is amazing now next up we have uh cherry bomb which is a familiar name right it's cherry bomb by beacons or specifically cherry bomb v2 now It's it's very close to my game, which is a bit of an... I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I would 
prefer at least if there was like a V2 on the logo here, just reusing my logo as can. Come on, guys. I know it's my tutorial and you can reuse the assets from the tutorial, but um, put your, like, it's like, you know, when you, when you give somebody to, to copy your homework, right? Like, yeah, okay, but do some changes, right? So, so it, it looks like you made it. Um, but uh, we're gonna see how what the game looks like. So far, I like the I like the website a lot. Uh, again, we have the logo on top. That's nice. We also have um, the website looks really really nice. There's a video, even full gameplay video. There's some animated gifs, and the gifs look spicy, interesting. Let's see. All right, cherry bomb now with three bosses. <laughs> Press any button to start. Wow, there's ship on the... <gasps> oh, that's so nice. You can just start moving your ship right away. Oh, oh, that's a big ship. There's a big version of that ship. Oh, and picking up cherry bomb shoots immediately. How that work? How, like the, picking up the cherries shoots immediately. Huh? Oh, there's... Ah. Wait, I just shoot automatically all the time. <laughs> There's no shooting. Okay. And I've been just pressing the bomb button all the time. You, I finally tracked you down. <laughs> you monster. You killed my minyo, I mean children, my precious children. Now I will, I mean, how will we ever take over the world now? You must die. <laughs> oh, a lot faster than my boss for sure. With a beautiful, beautiful health bar there. Oh, oh, look at that white boy. Oh, oh, now come. Oh, yeah, he's he's a, a lot more lively. Oh, uh, there's there's inertia in the movement. That's why uh, dodging is a bit more difficult. Than... Oh, oh I, I like. See, I like how people are fixing my mistakes. That's something I like a lot. Something that I did not do with my boss fight is giving players an opportunity to get some cherries. And I've seen now multiple versions of of, of the boss from the tutorial where people uh, do that. But, oh, did you see how the text went up? That's amazing. Oh, that was nice. That was, that was, mwah. Yeah, we're gonna try that again, right? So this is this is something I really like, where you press any button to start, which also means the direction of buttons. So and you can see the ship down there. So you'd be like, oh, I, was, I wonder if I can move it. And yes, you can move it, and the game just immediately begins. That's so cool. And now I I've been I've went on record to say that I am not a big fan of the of the auto shooting. A little confusing because especially since it didn't start shooting and after the intro so I thought oh I'm just gonna start pressing a button um, but I think this worst things that, that you can do to your game <laughs> like an overheat mechanic <laughs> uh, what one up I got a one up oh, uh, okay I find the trick to... so see this is the problem when you have dialogues like this I love the dialogue it's funny but it's only funny the first time. <laughs> Second time it's like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So a good way of solving this is to have maybe different dialogues that's maybe shorter and, and like references what happened last time, so, something like in um, Hades. But of course, that's not really cool thing to do in Pico 8 because dialogue costs a lot of tokens. So <sighs> it's a bit difficult. Pico 8 is a bit difficult to do that kind of stuff. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use the... Oh, what? Oh, wow. Is the, is the hitbox gigantic in this game? Is it possible that the hitbox is just gigantic? Oh yeah, it's gig... It's... <laughs> it's enormous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's an issue, obviously. Oof. Like, the wings are part of the hitbox. Uh, usually in most, like, um, uh, 
brutal kind of shooters, um, what you would have in this kind of situation where you have this gigantic sprite like this, is that maybe like the cockpit would be the actual hitbox. Um, and that allows you to... It gives you quite, quite a lot of leniency on how precise you have to dodge the bullets. And you can like weave in between very complex patterns. You can make the very dense patterns that are still manageable, still defeatable, potentially. If you don't have that, that's a uh, that's bit of a... Uh, yeah, just blasted his face there. Oh, I think the bomb doesn't actually destroy bullets. There's just so much. Oh. I have to concentrate so much. You have to be like... Oh. You have to be like... You have to anticipate. Oh. And you cannot step on a dime. Oh, it's, it's so difficult. You have to just like internalize the movement and be like proactive in a way in which you move. Because you have to start moving before you are in danger. You cannot just react to things. Okay, I think... Yeah! There's two more bosses! Ah! Now, ah, okay, so I guess each boss will, will, will corresponds to one of the enemies, right? That's how it works. So far we've seen the, the small blue guys. So I noticed something that it seems like every, every wave we're getting one life back. Which is a crazy spam for, for extra lives, which should give you a hint, maybe, that it's difficult. Like players are struggling to keep, uh, to keep uh, not dying. Oh, look at it! Ooh, hey, hey, let's play a game. In this game, we will try to kill you. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, is your laser not working? And you lost all your cherries? Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, this isn't a very fun game. What do you mean? We're having plenty of fun. Oh, so now it's an avoider. So it's all about cherries now. Oh wow, that's just gonna be a very long fight now. Should I collect the cherries? Will will that do better than just like sh shooting the cherries right away? Oh, what the! Oh look, ah, that was better now. I guess I should maybe um, do point blanks and concentrate on just one of them. Okay. Now it's a lot easier. Although I guess I would get less cherries. Oh, what? He exploded into small guys? All right, let's do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? But one of the guys is not moving. <laughs> I think they bugged out. What? Oh, that's 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 actually that's actually a lot of difficult now. That, what is this? Is this was just what was, was I just like lucky last time around that? Oh, that they got synced up. That's so weird. Ah! All right, all right, let's try this again. Let's see if uh, if that was just RNG last time around. Oh yeah, it was RNG, okay. <laughs> so apparently they are offset by but randomly, or maybe it was just like malfunction the first time I encountered them. Oh, what? See, I, how how am I even supposed to avoid this when they, when they approach me like this? Like, what is even the strategy here? Yeah, like, yeah, there's no gap. I can fit in better between there. I'm in, I'm in complaining mode right now. <laughs> Look at me, <laughs> I'm complaining. Okay, I'm gonna try to point blank this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but now there's like lots of tiny guys, right? 
and, and like, what, what, <laughs> what is the deal here? Would they just hang around? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, my, my, my daughter just came back from, <laughs> from kindergarten. I have to pick her up. No! All right, final attempt. Yeah. This is, this is a struggle. All right, all right, let's do this. All right, the, right, I forgot. This is a boss fight without shooting. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the guy on the left first. Uh, see, mm, how do I even avoid? <laughs> uh, this is not looking good. I probably won't make it. I don't see. Ah, uh, well, that's gonna be it. So, what do you think about this game? Ah, uh, it's it's good. Um, I was a, a bit apprehensive about you know using cherry bomb thing, but it clearly riffs on on the cherry bomb enemies and and it's uh. Uh, a tweak of the mechanics. I like the bigger version of the enemies. I like the bigger version of the uh, ships of the enemy of the player ship. That's I think these are really cool things. I also really like the humor that the game brings to it. Like you know the damn, the conversation with the with with the bosses. There's lots of like little visual flourishes, like how the text flies in when you go game over. These are really wonderful things that really add so much polish and so much joy to uh, the original Cherry Bomb that I this is, is definitely a worthy you know continuation of the Cherry Bomb idea. There are however, now comes the big but, there are two things, at least two things, maybe even three, three things that I am not so fond of, that kind of like ruin, I don't want to say me ruin, but kind of like spoil a little bit the 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 fun the lightheartedness one of those things is i already talked about is inertia shmup players don't like inertia i also not not so fond of inertia especially in shmups i think in other games inertia is fine it always depends on the context i think uh, for example in jump and runs inertia is okay uh in shmups it's a problem because quite often um the uh, uh the challenges or the, the hazards that you have come at you quickly and you have to react quickly and in this case, inertia just adds uh, lag, delay to your reactions. And quite often you then end up dying because of inertia. And to add insult to injury, a giant hitbox. Like we, the sprite has been increased. It's a nice sprite now. But now the entire sprite is still the hitbox less as the original game. In the original game, we had a tiny sprite. And yes, the sprite was the hitbox. But also it was a tiny sprite. So the hitbox wasn't that big in general. When you add a bigger sprite, uh, and then you make turn that whole big spread in the, into a hitbox. That makes it very difficult to avoid collisions. And combined with inertia, it means that you are just generally less capable of, at, at avoiding things. And uh, it generates a gameplay where you quite often get hit by something that didn't quite hit you. Where you were pressing the button at the right time, but because of the inertia, the ship didn't get away quickly enough. Or where you were grazed by a tiny pixel on the wing, right? And not really like hit in the center. You want to keep playing, but you get like hung up on those little details that just like always... Uh, uh. And you can tell, I think, this because you're um, the creator of the game, Beacons. Uh, they added a thing where every level, every wave, you get a life. It, it feels to me like a trying to fix that problem, trying to give the player a lot of uh, chances to get, get lives back so they can continue playing because they were losing lives so many times. Generally, all those things add a little bit friction, add a little bit of sand into the gears of the gameplay. And that's just a pity because otherwise everything about this game is so nice and so polished. And it's just such a pity that there's just like this little worm in the apple, in the juicy, wonderful apple of this game. Now, none of these things are things that will stop me from continuing playing this game. It's just something that I have to like internalize. You have to internalize the inertia. You have to internalize the big hitbox. And that just takes time, takes practice. I would have to come back to this in a stream. Until then, well done, Beacons.
Next up, we have Heart of Gold by Notatius. That is definitely a game inspired by uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And uh, <laughs> Arthur Dent. I like that. I like that there's multiple Arthur Dents. It's a nice website. Definitely readable and everything. Okay, Heart of Gold. Press X to start, vanquish the Vogons, but rescue the rest. Save 10 Arthurs and taste what? And taste something. I guess these are Vogons. So I have to rescue this guy. Uh, that's an that's a Arthur. Oh, wait, that's, that, was that coffee? Oh, I can just blow up the, <laughs> I can just blow up the Arthurs. That's nice. Eight Arthurs to go. I just picked up two Arthurs, all right? Taste the tea. Oh, wait. I, I, I shot the Arthur a little bit. Six Arthurs to go. Okay, I like that. That's a that's a interesting addition to the uh, to the formula, to the formula. Ah, what the? Ah, oh, what? Let's try this again. There's just two hearts. Two hearts. Come on! Throw me a bone. Okay, let's taste the tea. Oh man, the Vogons are accelerating at the bottom. That's amazingly. Yeah, they just just go for you. Oh man, that's so that's so why that's so mean. Why would you do that? Why would you accelerate at the bottom of the screen? Oh, holy crap! That makes me not want to uh, want to engage with the Vogons un unless I'm really like perfectly aligned from the beginning. Oh, now the Vogons are really uh, taking off, huh? It's a nice tune going on in the background, I like that. Oh yeah, two Arthurs to go. Yes. I never thought of the Heart of Gold from, from the Hitchhiker, uh, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What? I now have to save the whales. There's a second level. Oh, that's a. Oh, <laughs> did you see that whale? Did you see that whale? Oh, it's the whale. Oh, is it a towel? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So four towels means one extra life. Got, got to pick up the towels. How many? How many? I forgot. How many? How many whales do you have to pick up? Ah, oh, that was risky, but it was worth. It. Do not engage unless you are well ahead of the curve. Oh, I'm very concentrated right now. I'm so concentrated. Yeah, because the Vogons are coming. No, I killed the whale. Get the whale. How many whales left? See, like writing down so and so many whales to go, go, that's not as useful as just putting it on the screen. Oh, there we go. Three whales to go, got it. You could have like seven off nine. <laughs> if you have the opportunity to put seven of nine on your screen, why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? Oh, very concentrated. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Mice are nice. What? I, I, it was too fast. I cannot read this. Okay, I have to pick up mice, I guess. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wow. The, the mice is also accelerating. Oh, what the? The accelerating mice this is so mean. So mean. Okay, one mice. 
<laughs> this will take some time. Strap in. Eight more mice, okay. Is it really eight? Should I, do I have to pick up ten mice? Is that the idea? There was some kind of ball. I, I see some kind of saw some kind of ball. So it's difficult to tell what, which what is an enemy and what is a pickup because the pickups change every level, but also you get new enemies. So it's kind of like I don't like. Is this a pickup? It is. Okay. Uh, so, oh, that's the flower pot. Oh, now I get the mouse! Uh, it, w what was the ball? Was that a shot? Sometimes it's difficult to read, just the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, I, I kind of like that there's like this big enemy that just doesn't go down. Do you have to? Oh, man. See, there was no way I was gonna pick up this mice. What? Why are they always spawning two, two together? They're always like so. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to get this mice. Uh, this, this will take a while if I'm not gonna start taking some chances. On the other hand, dying now would be really devastating. Ah! Oh, yeah, it, it seems to be a player bullet, uh, um, a, a enemy bullet, right? Oh man, there was just no way. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, I have to begin from beginning. No, this was such a long game. Oh. All right, all right, seven mice, seven mice, three mice left. And now the Vogon fleet is coming. Oh, oh, oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Need to be really careful now. Oh, there's so much at stake. There's another mouse, I'm gonna get it. Ah! Did it get it! Oh! What a what a pity! Oh! You scored 28 from 42? Does the game continue afterwards? Alright, Vogon Vogon Feet is incoming. I just got hit. I just got hit. I had collected an extra life in the first stage, and but now that life is gone. So it's all on me. Oh man. Oh gosh. Okay, I have to get rid of the oh oh there's there's the mice. Yes! Got the mice. Oh no! See sometimes the my the mice uh, appears and it gets shot down because I was shooting all the time. <laughs> Which is incredible! Incredible! See? Okay, okay, oh uh, oh. Uh. Oh no! I was I stopped shooting to intercept the mice. Okay, okay, okay. I got this one. Oh no, you bastard! Oh man, this is this is harrowing. All right, Vogon Fleet incoming. Extra life. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yes. Oh, my heart is pounding. My heart is pounding. Oh, yes, another mouse. Another mouse. Come on. I have to shoot less. Oh, I got hit. Okay, another mouse. Oh, I got hit again. I don't care about the, the plants anymore, just mice. Oh! <laughs> Congratulations, you scored 30 from 42. Oh, you get punished for lasering your friends? That that that's not something that was mentioned. That that's Oh wow, so long and thanks for the fish. <laughs> you can can you have negative points? That's amazing. I love the dolphins. That's nice. Yeah, okay, so what would you think? Um, I think it was cool. I I liked it. I think Notatius mentioned that um, it was kind of like one of the first games they made. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, for, for your debut game, this is this is really nice. I like the... 
Uh, I like to switch on the formula that it's not the, just like the tutorial, just following the tutorial and, and delivering the result, but actually coming up with your own ideas. I like the uh, Hitchcock's Guide to the Galaxy uh, reference. I think that was nice. It's, uh, it's a bit of a niche franchise. Definitely has a lot of like uh, things that you can pick from, the weird things that you're picking up. Uh, that was cool. And one problem I had initially, uh, that kind of like solves itself after a while, while when I started playing the game. But initially I had always the problems that um, it was difficult to recognize what is a pickup and what is an enemy uh, because shooting at them resulted in the same thing, but p uh, colliding with them would be very, very different. So, uh, yeah, it's you're always kind of like guessing, like, wait, is that a pickup or not? Like, because it also changes every level. So you, you're always like, ah, what, what's, what, what's the thing that you have to pick up now? I think this could have been uh, avoided if you had like some kind of visual element to indicate that this is a pickup. Uh, for example, in the tutorial, we made like a flashing uh, outline uh, around the cherries to make sure that people know that this is a cherry. Um, and I think something that like this would maybe help uh, a little bit uh, here. Also, um, there's always like two two pickups. One advances the level, the other one gives you a power, uh, like a, an additional life. But you, that additional life you only get once. You max out at four, and then <laughs> that's it. It's kind of weird. It's nice and challenging. Uh, although I have to say, like the challenge is, and that's always a bit of a. a difficulty that I also I struggle with is the length of the game was a difficulty, not necessarily the challenges. Like avoiding the enemies was pretty trivial, uh, but avoiding them long enough uh, to collect 10 items, that took a long time. And, uh, you know, eventually some enemy would spawn at a weird point or you would misjudge the distance and you would get hit accidentally. So like the consistency what is the challenge here, less the actual uh, threat from the enemies. But I did appreciate the fact that the enemies pick up speed once you're close to the goal. I think that was nice. That was a nice addition that really added a lot to the game. Yeah, the music was pleasant. It's it's really nice, a nice, nice package. If there's anything I would recommend to Notatius to focus on in the future, like maybe there is, is this uh, the first game or one of their first games, something I would focus on in the future is um, focus more on the juiciness aspect of it. I talked about a little bit in the tutorial, making the explosions nice, like, because right now it's just like, um, like they, they they burst into like a like a confetti of, of, of little dots, which is fine. It's a good start, but I think something meatier would would add a lot of joy to to the proceedings, especially when you shoot the whale. The whale is a gigantic sprite. Like making it all like that would be like look up some whale explosion videos. There's some good ones on the internet, or maybe maybe actually don't. What I'm saying is like this is a franchise known for you know being like fun and all over the place and like. Woo, you know? So like adding this kind of visual flourishes, I think would, would really help uh, to move the game in the same direction. But otherwise, as, especially as a debut game, this is excellent. This is fine. I had my fun with this. Looking forward to more from Notatius. I had to do a double take on the next one here because this is a remarkable space confrontation, but the remarkable is spelled with a C, so it's remarkable. Space confrontation. Uh, that's a nice. I like. I like that. That the, the the star background here. Those those are really nice stars. And yeah, there's uh, some credits. Control summary. Okay. 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 So this is by Lostro del Mismo. Losotto. Losotto de Lostros del Mismo. Lostros del Mismo. Okay. There we go. Again, no no banner on top. Come on. A remarkable space confrontation. Is that because the guy who made it is called Mark? Oh, these are really nice ships. I like the, that intro. I like that that opening screen. The blinking is a bit intense. In the frame, I mean the blinking frame. Maybe it makes sense when I get into the gameplay. Okay. Earth is under attack. Defer, defend the base and destroy the enemy core. Command your mighty army. Press Z key. Or let the battle freely press nothing. Eh? Eh? So, uh, I'm pressing nothing. Or is that the manual from in the game? Like, wait? Uh, okay, I'm actually interested now. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, okay! Wow, that's... I can, can also just do nothing. Wow, the game already begins? Is that true? Let me take off. Oh, what is this? 
What? What is happening? Oh wait! I have to, I have to actually press up to go up? That's weird. So it's not it's not a, it's not an auto scroller? Oh, that's a nice fireball. You can actually go down. <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, you, you don't really see at the beginning because because the star background scrolls constantly anyway. But wow, that's a weird game. What is this? What are the arrows at the bottom there? Oh, what? Is that kind of like a Dota? Like where my guys are coming from the bottom? These are my guys, right? Oh no, it, it has a health health point system. Oh yeah, I died. <laughs> so I can see uh, on the top edge of the screen, there's like a health bar. That's how... Um, so something is a weird. Look, look how how the menu, the UI, like I go down, up, down, up. How how it just, how it moves around. Not sure, what happened there? So yeah, it's kind of like a Dota, right? Where your minions are coming, but you also can jump into the fray and and destroy like the, the things that are stopping my minions. What is this? What are these? What are, why, why are the, the satellites here? So, when I die, does the game reset or is the... is... is... are... like... For, like, okay, I'm gonna try to defeat this... this boss. Is that boss? Oh, wow. Oh, what? What? How spongy are these enemies? Holy crap! What is this? I don't even know... Oh, another one? What is... what is... wait. Oh, I can call my, my guys to me, right? Ah, oh, that's... yeah, 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 okay. So they're kind of like joining me. Oh man, I'm not gonna fight another of all those. Oh, uh, What is happening? What is this? Is that a shield? Oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, okay, so, so what now? Should I go back? I, I, I don't even... Oh man, so many bullets! What? Oh! Uh, oh, I died. Huh. Okay, so that's answers. So I have un unlimited lives, I guess? Let's, let's get those guys all in here. Oh man, now the game is chugging. Oh, that frame rate! I kind of like the idea of the Dota, though. I kind of like that. Okay, so let's try to defeat... Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever. Why are the bullets coming from the back? I don't even, I'm not even sure if I'm doing damage. It sounds like I'm doing damage. Oh no, not the green guys. Oh, the green guys are really bad. It was a missile that came in and destroyed the green guy. How can I get the missile? Oh, what? The green guys even don't die. They just... <laughs> Holy crap, they just get turned into smaller guys. Oh, what is this? Oh. Uh, so, see, I don't know if I already died. Because it seems like once the green guys are on the screen, I just, like, I could just as well give up. I feel like uh, whatever I... Oh, so wait, I thought you can go past... What is the... What am I even shooting at? I did some damage. I 
I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm what my goal is. What am I what am I shooting at, right? What is the what's doing damage? Wait, no, it's my base. Actually my base got so where is the health of the enemy? How do I know that? Is, there's there's none? I don't know what what Yeah, okay, I'm I'm just I'm just dead. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. I don't I don't know what like what my goal is. Should I destroy the red dot? That seems like maybe that's the enemy's health. But but I, I don't know. I, it, it, it seems like I'm hitting it, but I don't know how much I'm. I'm like it doesn't give me good feedback on on what I'm doing. This is already a very like there's just so much happening all the time. Okay, let's try with these satellites. What? Why? Why were all? See now I'm. I have the missiles, and I'm hoping that with the missiles, why did the guys go away? Okay, that was on me. I had three guys. Now I have one guy. I'm not sure why. Was I? Hit? Was were the guys hit? If the guys are attached to me, can they get hit? So that's basically they increase the size of my hitbox. Yeah, those missiles seem to be like really OP. Uh, okay, now I lost my guys. I guess I'm just gonna stay here and, and hope for the best. Sitting there and shooting. Ah, oh, Jesus! All right, once more into the breach. Okay. Um, let's try again. See, there's the green guys coming, so that basically means I'm screwed. There's no way I can fight them with my laser. And yeah, they're just gonna destroy my base. I picked up five guys, but I only have two with me. I don't know. I don't understand the power up system. I, it, like, it seems like I can get guys to fight with me, but. It seems to be random. Like, are they just overlapped or sitting, sitting on top of each other? Also, I'm not sure when I'm losing them. I just... There's just so much bullets. Oh. <laughs> I'm so... I'm trying to verbalize my confusion. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm I, ad I admit. I am freely admit I am a bit in complaining mode right now. But also, I'm verbalizing my confusion to maybe help the developer clear up things. For players like me who just have, like are very confused about about this game. That seems to stray away from the shmup formula, but in a kind of interesting direction. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight the green guy. Screw you, green guy. Well... Oh, interesting! So... If I keep the button pressed, that doesn't actually call the guys in me. Oh, there's some explosions happen that, that just happened. I, I think I'm gonna die now. Well... Okay! I don't know what I'm doing wrong! I don't know! I, I have no idea. Command your L, move up and down with the arrow key. Arrow, arrow, W. Shoot with X key, command your allied ships with the Z key and build a mighty army in order to, destroy to, to, in order to D, defeat the enemy. Rules, unlimited lives. Life regenerates gradually, oh, interesting. You lose if your base is destroyed. You win if you destroy the enemy core. Oh, okay, so that's, that's the thing I'm shooting at. I think that's a really good idea. I think, 
adding like these kinds of like Dota mechanics where there's a stream of attacking ships and uh, coming from a base and you're starting from a base and you have to fly over and you have to defeat the uh, enemies that are coming towards you and then do some kind of damage. I think that's a cool idea. I think that's a cool twist on the on the schmuck formula. It's the execution that I think that needs a tiny little push in the right direction. So off the bat, there's a bit confusion happening at the beginning where um, the, the stars are scrolling constantly, right? But you can also fly upwards and you're not really sure if you're moving. It's, uh, I was at the beginning, I was like, what is happening? Because the background is constantly scrolling anyway, no matter if you press the button or not. So I wasn't sure if I'm actually getting somewhere or not. Like the, the, the animated background is something that really confuses your spatial awareness of where you are. I think if the background was scrolling only if you press the button, that would make more sense. I think the idea of like game, being able to grab uh, like your guys and attach them as a kind of like an uh, option. I think that's cool. In practice, it never worked for me. Like it, I didn't feel like the rockets seem to be very strong. I have the impression that they are strong because I saw a rocket destroy the green guy once. But whenever I attached guys to me, they seem to I seem to lose guys. I think they were like maybe on top of each other, like multiple threats on top of each other. Also, I. I got lost the guys again. I, it seems like when they're uh, flying with me, they have their own collision boxes. So incoming, I don't have to just like, my, my, my hitbox becomes basically huge. And it's not possible. I, I don't see how it's possible to retain your army for a longer time. It seems like they just evaporate immediately in the, in the barrage. I would love to have a clear feedback on how much damage is left to do to the enemy. I also think it would be a good idea to make it so that you can destroy parts of their base. Like in Dota, there's multiple buildings that you can destroy, or you can destroy like a, um, a, like there's there's the, the the lanes right, and you ha can destroy guard towers along the, the the lane until you get to the to the to the final base. I think just having some kind of idea of progress. Um, rather than just staying there and shooting at that core, I think that would really help um, communicate to the player that, yes, you are doing something, you are getting somewhere. Because just shooting at a thing and not having any kind of feedback that, that this is good, that this is what, what will result in victory, is really difficult in a game that works like no other game that you've encountered before. I think whenever you make something that's unique and original, that's awesome, but you really have to do double duty on communicating your ideas to people because they can't rely on the games that they play, played before to understand what is happening. No, but seriously, I love this idea. This is amazing. This is an amazing, amazing original idea to, to add Dota, like Dota logic to, um, to Shmup, I think is in, in really cool. I also like to have a Shmup where you scroll manually. And this time it's not just like a little trick, but it actually makes sense. Like you're participating in the space battle that goes back and forth. That's cool. I like that. And in fact, I liked it so much. I kind of like want to give it a try myself. That's actually, I've been incepted with the idea now. Los Tros del Mismo, I'm amazed. I, am, I like what, how you're thinking. This is a very creative and innovative approach to making a shmup. Let's continue working on this. this I think we can get some, somewhere with this. I, I like this. This is good. All right, so next up we have Shmape, which seems to be one of the games not made in Pico 8. It was apparently made in uh, um, Python. Uh, this was made by Short Demand, so I will have to download this. Now there's the jam version and there's the real version. Uh, so the real version maybe have some upgrades that were created after the jam was finished. I'm down with the real version. This is a nice website. I would. I think having animated GIFs is nicer, uh, but I understand that this is difficult, more difficult to pull off if you're not using Pico 8. We are, again, I just like all the time I realize that we are so blessed. I'm sorry about my hair. I have to go get a haircut. We are so blessed with uh, Pico 8, how, how good it is to develop in Pico 8, how many things we get just for free in Pico 8. Oh, it's working, it's working. Does it have, um, it does not have, does not appear to have uh, gamepad controls. That's not cool. Also, oh, okay. Uh, I don't even know, wait, settings? Mm, 
Mm. Disabled blinking on off. So does that mean that on means that the blinking is disabled or does that mean that off means that it is like it's double negative? It's uh oh, I, oh, you can tell it's blinking. So that's good. I want the blinking mouse movement. It's, it's a, I don't have a mouse here. I cannot attach a mouse. My notebook doesn't have enough entry. Entry plugs. I have the controller attached. I have uh, the microphone attached, and I have power. That's all my three USB ports <laughs> taken care of. I cannot do mouse. I cannot do mouse. Off. Also, why is mouse and keyboard? Oh my gosh. Uh... Yeah, I guess new game. Ooh. No shooting sound. No explosion sound. Ooh, very relaxing music. Oh, wait, is there a shooting sound, but it's just very quiet? Oh, there's a being hit sound. Wow, that's a that's a bullet hell pattern if I ever see one. What with this? What with the squares? Annoying squares. Sometimes it's like thousands of bullets you're avoiding, but there's one stupid square and shooting at you. <laughs> Well, uh, that was difficult. All right. What? Are they going up again? Oh, wow. Wha what? There's so much. Sh Whoa. Whoa. I'm not good enough at this game. Wow, this is, this is a tough game. Ah! Oh, look at how many bullets there are. How do we even... How do we even... Oh man, I would love to see Actane play this. Somebody who's like really good at shmups. Because the patterns are crazy. Oh, it, it, it feels a bit underpowered. It feels like there's just a lot of enemies and just like, oh, wait, there's, <gasps> there's a bomb. <clears throat> Can I just keep using this? Oh, yeah. Oh, now I run off the bombs. Well, there's no indicator. There's no indicator on how many bombs I have. Okay. Hmm. There was like a weird green circle on the square, and I thought maybe that was uh, 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 like a ooh a boss. So what a weird music for a shmup! I love it. I kind of like the star explosions. That's kind of like a nice, uh, a, a nice addition, a, a nice, nice stylistic choice. Uh, also. It seems like there's a health bar for the boss at the top and the bottom, which also is nice. Seems like a very Toho kind of thing. But man, look at this. Look at how difficult this game is. I mean, when, when the bombs are there, why not just use them, right? I appreciate, I appreciate, I thoroughly appreciate the bomb just removing also the bullets. It's not something that, uh, like we had a lot of games in this jam that didn't do that. And uh, it's just such a, such a joy when someone just gets it, you know. Uh, I, I don't know how many lives I have. Also, this, this boss has a lot of health. You have to be fighting this boss for a long time. It's interesting, there's so many things about this game so far that are incredibly well thought out and polished. 
uh, but also some other things that are just like seem like like obvious things to add and just not, not there. Like example, like how much health you have on how much how much bombs you have. Like those indicators are just not there, and that just feels like such a obvious miss. What's with the bullets coming from the sides? Come on, man! Just having none of that. Ah! I need to defeat this boss. So close! Yay! Just use all of the bombs, whatever. Oh, this is second level? I thought that would be it. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not I'm not I'm not ready for the second level. Yeah, so this is was Schmape. Uh, I liked it. It's a fun game. It's some very unusual um uh, visual aesthetic choices, but I don't like it, it's cool. I, I I like games being more experimental and and just like trying new things. And this kind of felt like this. It felt like somebody who maybe is played some schmumps before, because like the bullet patterns were very dense and and felt like very bullet hell y. Um, uh, the shooting felt nice. Uh, there was no kind of upgrades, but that's okay. It doesn't you don't have have any upgrades um, updates. Um, Power ups in in uh, in games. I would love to have more feedback on how much how many bombs I have and how many lives I have. Mother of God. So I've been just editing this video and I realized. Look at this. Look at this. The actual player indicates the number of lives. The lives are the circles around it, the concentric circles, and the little dots hovering around you. That's the bombs would have appreciated that info in the game's description. And I don't know if there is even a way to get more bombs in the game. It seems like I haven't encountered any pickups to get more bombs. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. Uh, it also felt like some encounters were just like, basically you have to bomb. And I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I, especially if the, there's only a very limited supply of bombs. But no, something I really feel the game is missing is uh, some kind of like better feedback on... Like there is no shooting sound or the shooting sound is very, very, very minimal. I think that just needs to be just a bit more beefed up. It's it's kind of difficult to tell because it's a very, very strange game. Like it's a visually strange game. And so you're not really sure how many things are just like weird um, intentionally or how many of them are just like not quite finished yet. Would also really appreciate that there were gamepad controls. I I might return this later in the, in the stream, but if I do, I will have to find a way to map the controller to keyboard inputs. But yeah, this was a fun game, very very unique. I enjoyed this. Next up, we have Star Trek Collective Mischief by Chaz. Very green background here. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful Al Alcars. Elkar style, text, beautiful gifs, beautiful text uh, on top. That's nice. I'm not sure about the fonts because the thing is, like, are we talking about Elkars from Next Generation, like the the UI stuff? And if, if you do that, then that's the font in the font that you see in the game. That's the correct one. You have you have to have like a very narrow, very narrow, very tall font. That is not uh, does not not have the serif stuff. So this font looks like maybe because you, like you can see the here. This is the, like the font for the old Star Trek, I think. So kind of like mixing the Star Treks here. This is my my uh, visual designer, my inner visual designer coming out. All right, let's get started. Uh, I saw Chaz uh, developing this on Twitter. They, he posted or they posted. A lot of screenshots uh, and animated gifs on the progress, so I'm really, really hyped to play this now. And I, oh man, look at this! This, this, the logo here looks so nice. <laughs> Press X to save Earth. If that was that easy, right? Ooh, look at this! You can be defiant. 
or you can be Enterprise E. Not a big fan of the Enterprise E. I would have preferred the Enterprise D. I'm a, I'm a D fan, man. NGE all the way. But I I don't I I it's fine. It's fine. I I ooh, look at this board cubes. Green stars. Ooh, oh, look at <laughs> there's just some shadowing happening. Uh, <laughs> ooh. Oh, look at this. At least the Elysium crystals are oh, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Oh, full spread! Oh, nice, nice. So the the cherries are torpedoes now. Some uh, bark spheres, torpedoes, torpedoes. Ship is moving a bit slow. Uh, also, I'm not sure where the collision box is. Hopefully, it's smaller than the sprite because the sprite is serious. But on the other hand, the um, enemy bullets so far are there are not too many. And they're very visible. Again, I hope the bullet is only collides in the center. You never know. Oh, I wonder how how uh, how Chaz made the made the font. Is this font made with like sprites or with some kind of custom font function? Oh, oh, nice! The collision box is actually smaller than the sprite. That's cool. Shield hit! Exclamation point. Yeah, you can tell. I lost one shield. One shield is red. Oh, now two shields are red. Right. Torpedoes! Can I... Will I... Oh, look, there's a Federation ship that has been assimilated. You're just giving them the full spread right here. Oh, yeah. Torpedoes! Ah, oh, some more assimilated Federation starships. Oh, that's missing. That's missing. The the the, the Star Trek Star Trek music. Although I have to say, like, I'm not a musician myself. I would struggle uh, recreating that that tune myself. Oh, so, you know. Oh, I, I like how the uh, how the bark cubes are pushed back by your shots. That's cool. Torpedoes! Exclamation points. Uh, exclamation mark, I guess, right? Okay, uh, are we gonna see the final boss? Is, is it gonna be uh, 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 Loc Locutus? It's giving everybody a nice uh, proton torpedo in the face. Ah! You what? Your score is only... It's not only, it's even as high as six, uh, 66,000. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Are we actually, are we actually, is that actually, oh no? Oh, okay, so it actually continues where we left off. It's not like a shmup, like a normal arcade kind of experience. You kind of continue where you were before. Oh, that's, that's such a nice, that's, uh, it's, it's that boss fight that we are aware of. Oh, but see, the, now you see how you, the ship is too slow. Never mind, just tanked it. You saved Earth, good job. Score, high score. So now if I just continue, it's just like I'm beginning from scratch. Yeah, it's score zero. So wait, wait, how did I, if I reset now? Let's, let's try to define. 
Oh, see, you can see the Defiant is faster. Ah, oh, but I have less health. What's O, o of F? Offen offensive. I'm making less damage. Yeah, okay, okay, no, no, there's, there's the jingle. There's the jingle, here we go. I, I missed it. Oh, see, the Defiant has way better laser. Should have been the Defiant. From the get go, I should have picked the Defiant. And also, the movement is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, this is good, this is good. Huh. Something that's weird is the Defiant is supposed to have worse offend, uh, like defend, defense, but it still has the same amount of shields. So what happened? Did you, do you just get more damage when you get hit by it? The, 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 the Defiant? A 7 of 9 joke! It said 7 of 9 jokes! Yes! <laughs> There's the sound of my joke! Yes! <laughs> he did it! You crazy person! Oh, there we go, there we go, boys! Oh, no! That was useless. Oh, no, that the torpedoes only got one torpedo connected. Oh, almost defeated the, the Borg. Ah, okay, so you press again and then you're just like immediately at, at the beginning of the wave that we had previously. Easy, easy for breeze. Sadly, still using at least one continue, so uh, I think I can do better high score. But that's something that we're gonna do maybe later on. I like this, this is a fun game. This is, a, again, a really nice continuation of the tutorial, adding so much flavor, adding so many little flourishes, being able to pick two ships, but the, the hitbox is not too big. The seven of nine joke, nice. Just really like embracing the theme of just like going hog wild on the, on the Star Trek. I don't mind too much. Like if you like Star Trek, why not just make a Star Trek fan game? It's fun. The enemies felt unique. There were different enemies that, that you had to defeat and they had all like different attack patterns and you had to employ slightly different strategies. You know, sometimes there were like these spheres that approach you. We didn't have these kinds of things in the tutorial and they were kind of like difficult to avoid with the slower ship, but that's cool. Something I'm not quite understood is like, um, what are the differences between the ships? Because it seems like the only difference was basically uh, the movement speed and maybe I did more damage with the Defiant, but I, or maybe not, I'm not sure. But um, it seems like offense was also a factor, but I didn't feel like I had less shields or anything with the Defiant. So I'm not exactly sure what is happening there. But it doesn't matter. I had fun playing through this game twice. That is a well done game, Chaz. Next up, we have Full Mozago by PCK404. Bright yellow ship is launched at full speed across the universe. Mission code full Mozago. The objective is a small and we're guarded planet. Oh, whoa. There's a sound, oh, there's a soundtrack. You can listen to the soundtrack and there's some animated GIFs. There's just one animated GIF. That's okay, I heard good things about this game. Campaign, let's go. Lightning bolt. That's a nice ship. Entering a hostile zone. Enemy patrol detected. One of five. Be careful, Agent ZKF. That's me, Agent ZKF. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Fully leaning into that inertia. This is not just inertia. This is just... Wow! This is just... Oh, wow! But I do like the trail that the ship leaves behind. That's really nice. And again, with the... Um, with the automatic shooting, although there's also, you can press the button, they have shooters. Yeah, so you're shooting automatically, but you can also shoot. Rather, but wait. No, oh, weird. 
It reminds me a little bit of there is a game on the Switch called um, uh, something something Grace, like a grazing bullet grazing game, which just seems like a good idea. But <laughs> if you have a lot of inertia, then uh, that becomes difficult. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. The um, there's a lot of inertia, but so far the bullets and enemies were very slow, so it's fine. You have a lot of time to avoid them, so that's kind of like that's kind of like a offset of the inertia, right? The problem with inertia is not just the inertia; it's just like the kind of challenges that you have to defeat with inertia. And so, if the challenges are kind of like um, mellow, then the inertia is not too bad. So I don't know if the uh, the shadows are oh they they are not hazards. I thought the, the Dark blue were the hazards, but they're not. They're just like style. Style. More enemies ahead. Yes. Oh, I like I like the the narrative elements of this. This is so nice. This feels luxurious. <laughs> you can even shoot down the bullets. What kind of baby gain is this? Is that a power up? No. Because you can shoot on the bullet, so I thought maybe uh, I couldn't shoot down that thing. So I wasn't really sure if that's a bullet or what. But that's a power up if I have someone. Ooh! What is this? I'm shooting some kind of blue stuff. This is the technical term for it blue stuff. Oh, now we're getting, now things are getting crowded. Uh, the blue stuff tried to attack the bullet that cannot be destroyed. Here's the end of the belt. Yeah, finally, stay focused. Heart. Let's get the heart. Oh, the animation this looks so nice! The particles and, and, the, and the circle. Oh! Target outpost ahead. Many enemies expected. <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> heart locks, rocks at the bottom. You know, like in Emperor's New Groove. No problem. No problem. Oh, I think I have some kind of upgrade. No. What was that? I picked up something. Was that another heart? I think there was another heart. It was pink. The hearts are pink. It's weird. I, there's like this box next to my hearts. I'm not sure what that box is doing. Oh, is the, are these the, the bullets coming out? Reaching the target outpost. You can do the ZKF. Gotcha. Oh, look at this! Nice! Nice! Oh, yeah, baby! Oh, that's very fast scrolling. That's unusually fast scrolling. I was not prepared for the speed of the scrolling of this. Oh, I cannot... I thought I could fly past them. I, uh, alas, I could not. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is... This is this is... Oh, the change of pace is nice! It's nice! Outpost ship destroyed. Ah, yeah. That's me, baby. Good job, Agency FK. Oh, oh, oh! Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Uh, I did not read. I was too dancing. I was too much concentrated on my other dancing. Okay, so I picked up another blue. Oh, look! There's a small ship now. Ah, interesting. The, there's a slight uh, jitter going on. The objects on the ship are not quite aligned with the with the background of the ship. I, I know what is this causing. This is kind of like the. 
Oh, nice! You can destroy the entire ship if you destroy everything on it. Oh, I want it. I want this feeling again. Yes. Um. So this happens when the oh, objects are kind of like have a comma value on the position. There's a planet, you can see that's maybe that's my target, that's where I'm going, huh? It's way in the distance. Oh yeah, let's get get yes, let's get this guy destroyed. I want to destroy him just because I can. Really nice music. See, the, the thing with the music is, can, the, the real test of Pico 8 music is, and that has not necessarily anything to do with, you, with your with musical skills, is can you listen for it for a long time? <laughs> That's the real test. Can you make something in Pico 8 that you can actually listen to for a long time? That's difficult to achieve. That's not easy. I've been there myself. I've been struggling with this myself. And this is definitely music that you can uh, listen to uh, for a long time. Uh oh, my blue balls need to take care of this. Yes! In the last moment, last possible moment, going to the planet. Okay, final stage. We're almost done. Orbital station reached. Give them hell, ZKF. Oh, look at this! Oh, I cannot shoot. I thought these, these were destroyable. They are not. Oh, I got hit. Oh, right, 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 because you cannot... You have to actually shoot through. What is the... What, what, what happened? What just hit me? Oh, look at this, there's like this whole, this whole level. It's like a level, this is like a, like this feels art hypey. That was nice. Enemy defense cleared, yeah. Final phase. Oh, that's that's what wasn't the end. Target body right ahead. Ballistic mode on. Oh, my my daughter came back again from from the swimming pool. Here we go. Goodbye, Agent Z Z ZKF. Yeah, I had to continue this later on. What just happened? This, this... Mwah. So yeah, I... Whew, this is difficult to talk about this game because it's, it's so much dependent on the reveal at the end. But I, I, it's not like the build-up uh, towards it was, was, was nothing either. Like, oh man, this was amazing. So this is... I find this very fascinating because this is actually something that I've been talking about in the video about uh, LSGG3 about how to do narrative in, uh, in shmups, how or how shmups do narrative. And I think this was a good example of, of a shmup that does narrative well, I thought. Um, first of all, it was kind of slow paced. Um, we had like a bit downtime in between there and that downtime was used to uh, tell a story. So we got like the briefings, you know, where we get like a, <laughs> get like a, uh, we've been told what we're supposed to do, right? Um, I love that the different stages that we had, there were five stages and they felt very different. They were felt like completely different places and not necessarily because of the enemies. I mean, the enemies, yes, as well. But because we had like this scrolling stuff behind in the background, um, 
And not only that, we had also like some nice little details, like the planet that came into view, like giving us a um, kind of like hint where the journey is going, um, or the asteroids in the, in, in, in the second phase. That just, I felt like I went through five different places. And I think that's a very important thing to, uh, to aim for if you want to do something that's more narrative, like to make different levels feel like places and make the places tell the story. Um, I really like the ships scrolling past and that you can blow them up. That was just so cool. That was so cool. Now, of course, I already talk about this and you probably know what I'm going to say. Yeah, there is there is inertia. Inertia is not great. Um, but I feel like almost in this game, it doesn't really matter. Um, it would have been a problem if the difficulty was a lot higher. Then I would maybe get frustrated by this uh, because the inertia was really extreme. It was very, 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 very um heavy ship it felt heavy um but the like the bullet hell like or like the bullet challenges the the hazards that i had to avoid were kind of very um, mellow so i never felt like i was i had to navigate you know i had to have the quick reflexes to escape all of the dangers um I didn't have any difficulties playing through the game, but um, also I didn't feel like I needed that in, for this kind of experience. Like I, it was fine to just blow a bunch of stuff up and get some dramatic moments where you go through the ship that kind of felt cool without being necessarily difficult. And that's, I think, an imp important takeaway. Um, in order to get like a fulfilling ending for a game, that's something that I noticed at some point. In order to get a fulfilling ending for a game, you don't necessarily need to present a challenge. Like challenge and a fulfilling ending are not the same. You can have something that's very difficult, but it doesn't feel like a fulfilling ending. There is also like this idea of a drama, right? Like this, like something that's dramatic, like an amazing looking boss fight. That's not difficult, but it looks spectacular, right? Um, that can be also a very, very satisfying ending to a, to a game. Uh, so it's not necessary to just crank up the difficulty all the way up until until um, the player is um, frustrated. Um, just making th things seem dramatic and and epic is uh, is also a valid and and is, uh, can be a very successful way to go. And I think this game shows how it's done. Oh, this is just such masterpiece! I'm really impressed by what PCK four hundred four did here. This is this is really this is. It seems like a whole, a whole different level, I feel like. This is just so good. Well, yeah, this is, I'm just blown away. But now we have to come to the final game of this, of this playthrough, uh, which is going to be Lina, Witches of the Moon. So this was made by Achi, Achi, Achi. Uh, and I've seen screenshots of this. I screened animated, I've seen animated gifs of this. And this looks just so lovely. Look at those animated gifs, like, oh, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, like, actually was in, in the Discord, was, was showing us progress, and it, and they went, like, all the way, like, this is, this is, mm. oh, my gosh, the cat, there's a cat, and he's called Sour Cream. How, how, why is it so awesome? I'm just, like, ah, oh. ah. Oh. Ah, ah, this is good. This is good stuff. This website looks also amazing, by the way, with one exception, this gray frame. I, again, I posted a tutorial on how to fix a gray frame. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Otherwise, yeah, there's a beautiful logo. Actually, actually quite a big logo, but it's okay. You can just scroll down a little bit. The typography is really nice. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm, it's going to be a treat. Or Although, we're going to see about that. All right, let's do this. So, hmm, proceed to start. I'm always being critical about these kind of little details, like C on the keyboard, that's good. But some people don't use the keyboard. So, yeah, let's, let's try it. Mana burst gauge. Oh, that's nice. This, there's a tutorial stage, basically. There's a mana burst gauge. I don't see any mana. Oh, oh, oh the, 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 the blinky thing. Okay, got it. I, ooh, I'm picking up power-ups. Okay, and then mana burst is just like pressing this button, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, what is the mana burst gauge? Oh, so it does it go automatically up? How does that work? 
This is a very juicy game. Oh, and I pick up some star. I guess that's... Okay, what now? Can I use the mana burst now? No. I don't understand how the mana burst works. Maybe it doesn't let me mana burst in the tutorial? That would be weird. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I got it. I got it. Forest one clearing one. Oh yeah. See? <laughs> just by putting things sideways, it just feels immediately so different. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm the bullet hell now. <laughs> what is happening? Why are there so many bullets on this? Oh! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, there's some birds. We're fighting bats and birds. And of course, sour cream. Our, our beautiful cat, sour cream. That's a, such a nice name for a cat. A bit long, but you can abbreviate it cream, and cream is also a good name for a cat. What? I have mana burst. I don't know how to do the mana burst. My my gauge is full, but I don't know what how to do this. We have to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to look into the the manual. Oh, I'm doing mana burst. How did I do it? What, what happened? Okay, mana burst is still happening, but in between the stages, why? Why? Oh man, look at those those birds! Oh, <laughs> that just feels so good. Oh, <laughs> a witch is approaching. Oh no! Oh, look at this. We're fighting. Ah, you have. <laughs> That's your pattern. That's nothing. It means nothing to me. Yeah, get wrecked, witch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How is this power-up still going? <laughs> See? <laughs> Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Just, like, give the players ridiculous powers and just never take them away. <laughs> just, like, continue. Oh, look. Whoa! Oh! Oh man, what what is this witch doing? How, uh, and we don't, we don't there is no health bar. Oh yeah, no, it's like, oh. the moon is shaking. What is still going? <laughs> this power up never ends. <laughs> That's so good. Oh no, I've been hit. Oh uh oh, Ooh, final final life, final life. Oh uh oh no, Oof. this was close. This was way too close for comfort. Shield ends. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't. I cannot get that power up. Ooh, Forest Two clearing seven. When did we arrive at Forest Two? Oh, mana burst! Mana burst! I still don't know what the mana burst is doing. How does that even? Star ends. Okay. Forest Two clearing. I don't even. Whoa! Look at these guys. Oh, what a sprite! Oh, this is just such a schmup. Forest 2 clearing 9. Yeah, I, I like those levels. They're nice. Like, the, the different enemies are very challenging. And the bullet patterns are crazy strong. Like, look at how many bullets we're having here. This is, this is, what, this is what they call bullet hell. The second button does nothing. That's so weird. Another witch is approaching. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at her. Uh, 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 I, I don't think this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this, this witch was. I, I sh probably should have avoided her earlier. Ah, easy, easy for breezy. It's getting worse. Oh yeah, the moon is definitely shaking for sure. Oh, I know what's going to happen. The final boss is going to be the moon. I'm down with that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, 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 the red bottle is, is a health potion, that's good. Got, got, got another heart back. What is with the mana burst? What is the mana burst? Oh, it's just like rapid fire? Yeah, it's rapid fire. Oh yes! What's good? Oh my gosh, it's when you're spraying so many bullets, it's so difficult to to uh, see the enemy bullets. <laughs> it's kind of like good because you're killing a lot of enemies, but also bad because you just 
I don't see what's what's coming. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Forest 3 clearing 13. Ah. Oh. What? Oh, jeebus. Yeah, these these dragons are no oh ho ho, they're no joke. Oh man, now dragons and some other stuff. Look at oh, look at this. Let's get everything up and going. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Now now it's a bit easier. Oh man, this is just like crazy. The updates are uh, upgrades that you pick up are very very similar to each other. I I have not internalized what the Numbers do. Oh man. Ah. Uh, okay, a wish is approaching. That's good. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, that's my favorite one. This is the best one. Even though maybe it's, it doesn't cover. It doesn't do as much damage as the other ones. It just like feels good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, give me the power ups. Yum, 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 yum. Give me the power-ups, give me the hearts. Get me the cream. Bring me to mommy. <laughs> it's a, it's a, there's a meme. Uh, never, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna explain. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this, is, this is a good, good pattern. This is a good attack from, from the witch. It's difficult to avoid. I mean, it's not too difficult to avoid, but it's definitely puts me under pressure. Very fast bullets aimed at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's let's pick up those those potions. This is a this is a serious serious fight right here. Oh, the moon! It's full moon. I am I am I am under pressure. I feel under pressure. I feel pressured. Get those potions up again. What is the frog? I picked up the frog. The first time I've seen the frog. Oh! <laughs> that was the frog? Oh my gosh! No, that's not the frog. What is the frog? What is the frog? Oh yeah. The moon witch turned into her. Oh yeah, that's the moon witch. There we go. That's what we were fighting here. Two bosses end to end. Oh yeah, I still have the frog. What's the, the frog? Oh man, oof. I'm glad I was able to stock up on, on potions uh, on, the, on the last fight, but now it's it's like, oof, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 oh, 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 oh man. Oh, oh yeah. You gotta stay close to her. Yes, this is your end. <laughs> what? What? I'm fighting a moon. No way. No way. No way. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, this is just in time for Halloween, isn't it, huh? Oh. Oh my gosh, what happened in this game? Okay, I have to f find out what the what the manual is actually saying. Um, enemy minions attack in waves. Don't sp spare none of them. Charge your mana burst and tear through the opposition. Mana bursts. What what mana bursts? It doesn't say. It just says ma mana bursts. <laughs> mana bursts. You will encounter their respective witch master at every sixth level. Some enemies you use tricky patterns against you. Be on your guard. Okay. It still doesn't say how the mana bursts work. Movement shooting, frog bombs. What is the mana burst? All right, I, there's just one way to, to find out. I'm gonna have to jump back in. I'm gonna try to get them to the moon. All right, this is, this is it, this is it. I found an exploit. You have unlimited bombs, actually. <laughs> yeah, you just can, like the number of bombs doesn't decrease when you trigger a bomb. So you can just like continue <laughs> using bombs. And also, when you trigger the bomb, <laughs> all of the bullets turn into little particle effects, so it creates crazy slowdown, which is actually not really good. Uh, because like, uh, 
there's lots of frame skips <laughs> and you suddenly you skip ahead in time but yeah i did it i did it it didn't feel quite so deserved i have to say you survived the journey press X to menu dude what a game yeah no come on i this is this is incredible so it's um it reminds me very much of um of the oh, what's the name of the series Cotton is the name of the game. Um, so there's a, cut, a series called Cotton, a very famous shmup series where you're a witch and then I think you even have a familiar following you around and then you fight yourself through a bunch of uh, monsters and it's fun and it looks very much like this one. <clears throat> of course, this is a Pico 8 version of this, I guess. There's also another witch game that is kind of also a Cotton inspired um, that was already before my tutorial on, on Pico 8. So this is already a very, very popular um, uh, setting, I would say. But this is a really, really, really good entry. I love this. This is so nice. I love that there's like very different enemies and that at each witch um, there's like different bosses and it, each boss fits to a certain enemy. That's so nice. So you feel like the enemies are really the minions of the bosses that you encounter. And sure, the witches seem to be like just like color swapped the same sprite, but it's fine. Like the um, attack patterns are so imaginative, especially your own attack patterns, like the spirally thing that was my, my favorite one. That was, that's so nice. Some of the sprite art is really, really cute. And it's just like this, this, this firework, like this, this, this festival of, bullets going in all places and it looks beautiful and it's just like ah that's just so nice there's just really two things that i i um, had troubles with first of all yeah the, the obvious bug obvious exploits like the frog bombs they just don't go away so you can just keep using them that's how i got through it didn't feel earned i once the bug is fixed i'm gonna maybe try to play through it again for realties now oh also uh, yeah the I, I think I understand how the mana burst works. I think the, the idea is that you you fill up the bar um, when you kill enemies, I guess. And then once the bar is full, you shoot faster um, for a short amount of time. So you can't trigger it. It triggers automatically, which is... Uh, I don't like these kind of things because that also always means that they come in an op on, on opportune moment. It would be nicer if you could trigger them. And it seems like the frog bomb, I mean, I, I've been using the frog bomb a lot, but it seems like there's not too many frog bomb drops. Like I've, I've collected three frog bombs. So it seems like they would be pressing the other button just three times during the game. It seems like the mana burst would be a more interesting mechanic to focus on. Maybe uh, you could do something like, uh, if the bar is not full, you can use it for mana burst. But if the bar is full, it's not a mana burst, but then it turns into, the, in a, into a bomb. Kind of like reverse to what uh, Crimson Clover is doing. But yeah, also like the mana burst is not really well explained, I feel, in the in nowhere in manual and not in the tutorial. But I did like there was like this little tutorial stage where you can try out things. I think that's neat. I think that's, that's something that that definitely a lot of shmups need. Like just have a, like a safe stage area where you can just like test out the controls, make sure that all the buttons um, that you read up were are in the right places and so forth. No, but also something I really like here is like the story happening here that you fight different witches during, during the night. And there's this little texts that kind of like hint at, oh, there's maybe something happening with the moon and the moon gets fuller. And then the end you fight the moon. That's just such a nice setup and reveal, uh, setup and payoff. Like you think about the moon and then there, of course, the moon comes. I saw it coming and it, it felt, I felt like very, it felt very nice to, to have it. And the moon has such a nice sprite too. It feels like this epic finale. And especially since like three boss fights in a row, basically. No, this is this is a beautiful, beautiful shmup. I ah oh, definitely one of the highlights this time around. And this is it. This is the end of the basic shmup showcase. Unless I missed something. If I missed something, let me know. And we're gonna try to maybe um, do a follow up. I cannot overstate how grateful I am, how thankful I am for all the people who participated in the um, basic shmup showcase. This blew my mind. I just don't understand how this happened, how much effort was put into this, how many people were like swept away by this. It, it, this is incredible. This is this is just like completely outside of the scope. I thought this would go. This is just amazing. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. This was, wow, incredible. We created a lot of experiments with a lot of shmups. We created some real gems for the Pico 8 library. And I think some of the ideas here 
some of the ideas here will carry over and will become, you know, the nucleus for more and more exciting developments. I expect to basically just like people go to the tutorial and they post the result and it's going to be just like carbon copies of, of uh, cherry bomb just being posted all over the place. But no, every, everyone had a different approach. Some people veered extremely um, off course and, and went in a completely different direction. So there's, I've seen a lot of attempts trying to create, um, create a scrolling background. Um, I've seen a lot of attempts trying to create, um, that's uh, it was very common, trying to create enemies that come in more organically, not in these kind of fixed formations. I like that. There were attempts to get in uh, some narratives going as well, which I also appreciate a lot. Common things that I've seen people struggle with. First thing, of course, I talked about is inertia. And I know, I know, I haven't discussed this in the tutorial. I'm going to talk about it in, in, in phase two. I've seen a surprising amount. I think like in the first episode, it was just like everything was very condensed. But yeah, I've seen a surprising amount of people and putting in overheat mechanics, trying to make the shooting more interesting, really pulling some wrong levers and resulting in a kind of like an uneven outcome. That's okay. That's why we're experimenting. And something that I think we all struggled with, me too as well, is kind of like get the difficulty right. There's a lot of games that ended up way too easy. There's a lot of games that ended up a bit spiky and uneven in this difficulty. Um, also getting the length right was also something that we first struggled with. How to get the right length. Some games ended up being like very long and kind of like overstay the welcome. Some games being like incredibly short and be like, whoa, I want more, you know. It's kind of difficult to fit, um, to hit the sweet spot, especially in Pico 8 and especially with maps because they are just such a different, different formats. It's a very intense experience, but quite short experience. So yeah, these are the things I'm thinking about as we move on to phase two, because that's right, afterwards, we're going to continue doing some more shmups, but this time in phase two, this time we're going to focus on the things that were kind of like left on the table. Right now, we just make basic shmups. We kind of understand how the basics work. But now we're going to move on into the next gear, the next level. We're going to try to create an advanced shmup. We're going to focus not just on how to make anything happen at all, how to do the programming stuff. Obviously, it's going to be also programming. But we're also going to think about the game design. How are do we going to design a game that is awesome? That's something that's going to be focused on phase two. But until phase two starts, we also gonna I'm also gonna do some streams. I wanna there's some games that I haven't quite finished, and so you wanna hang out. I'm gonna do some streams. There's gonna be a link to the Twitch channel you can subscribe, and I'm also gonna do some hangout streams when I'm just gonna. Play some of the games we haven't finished quite yet and maybe talk about our, our impressions, share kind of like experiences working on those games because man, there's just so much knowledge and know-how that accumulated here. That's so great and so inspiring. And of course, if you want uh, additional feedback, there's also Actane, uh, one of the people who actually work on the game on uh, CrossGunner. Uh, that dev actually also has his Twitch channel and he also played through all of the shmups and and he gave his own commentary, his own um, view on things. I always trust Actane because he's somebody who's well embedded in the community. He has a very shmup player focused point of view, which is very, very useful to hear. So check out Actane's channel if you want to have a second opinion on those games. You want to have more insights into how to design those shmups. So I'm going to end it here. But before we do, I want to do another because we haven't done it in quite a while. I want to do a big shout out to all of the people who support me on coffee. Oh man, yeah, Ooh, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I wanted to give a thank you to all of the wonderful people who joined the coffee even while I was moving and wasn't posting much. So a warm welcome to Jer, Notatius, Reef, Pico8 Fan, Beetroot Paul, Tarek, Franco, Mr. Troglodyte, Gnobar L, Retro Skeely, Matthew, Potato815, K Truck, Power Leg. David Bandinelli, Miao1967, Otello Vieira, Tobias, and Cry. And also, as always, a big shout out to the growing regular Donut Plus crew, including Jer, Chaz, Creeperspeak, Lennart Steinke, Heinz Stampfli, Brandon Black, Will Brown, Tom Hall, Sean Manget, James Washington, Ted Carter, BB Samurai. Andrew Edstrom, Kixel Studio, Haiku Noodle, Tarek, Scott K. Goldsmith, Dr. Zamarco, Roberto Renovato, Scouch, Soup, Glesman, Pedro Matamuros, Cesar Townsend, Meats, 
Captain Bly, Dracula, Caleb Blankenbaker, Casey A. Childers, Andrea D'Amicio, Leon, Nexalam, Coat Logic, Ghosted Bones, Squerf, Farley, Chemix, Pixel Jochen, ADG, Brian Baldwin, Scotty, GBG, Brian Davies, Andrew, Shaya, Degaco, Jan, Art Sturgeon, Angelo Dante, Maciek, Lost Deku, Bellorek, Pendletong, Groove MD, Lackmer, The Coxworth, Cheap Shot, One Eyed Rabbit, Mario Carballo, Kevin Thompson, Pavel Shimchukovsky, Bretsky, Emperor Snow, and Hnork. You can also support this channel on Coffee. One of the major perks is that you'll gain access to new videos early and receive progress on the development of Phase 2. And there is also all sorts of other behind the scenes features. Check it out on coffee.com slash lazy devs. Mm, that's right, that's right, that's right. All right, so I'm slowly settling in here. As you can see, you know, there's the empty furniture, but we're gonna fill it with stuff. And maybe we can start the streaming, we can start to do recording more videos. There's already a new video, the first video of phase two in the pipeline. It's gonna drop very, very soon, probably this month. So look out for this one. Otherwise, see you next time around, guys. Bye-bye.